Hello, I'm John, the creator of Speak British English. This is the fifth video in a series covering the general characteristics of the British accent. In this video, you'll learn about aspiration. You'll also learn how to get a month of free access to my online pronunciation school. In English, the unvoiced consonant sounds t, p, k, and to a lesser extent ch, are aspirated. That means that when they come at the beginning of a syllable, they involve a burst of air. Let me demonstrate. Ta, pa, ka, cha. As you can hear, there's a strong breath after each of these consonant sounds. Listen again as I demonstrate the t consonant. This time I'll exaggerate. Ta. As you can hear, it's like I'm whispering t and then saying ha. Listen again. Ta, pa, ka, cha. Sometimes the aspirated consonant is followed by another consonant. Here's an example. Queen. If you listen carefully, you'll notice that the aspiration from the k consonant carries over into the w consonant. Listen again. This time I'll exaggerate. Queen. Note that the aspiration is simply a breath, not a vowel. Listen as I demonstrate the right way and the wrong way. Queen, queen. Here's another example. Q. Here, the aspiration from the k consonant carries over into the y consonant. Listen again. This time I'll demonstrate very slowly. Q. Here's an example with t. Try. As you can hear, the aspiration from the t consonant carries over into the r consonant. Listen again. This time I'll demonstrate very slowly. Try. Here's an example with p. Plain. Again. The aspiration from the p consonant carries over into the u consonant. Listen again. This time I'll demonstrate very slowly. Plain. Now compare these words. Pain. Plain. Pain. Plain. Sometimes words are spelt with the letters K, P, or T, but contain no aspiration. Here are some examples: spa, after, scare. As you can hear, although these words contain the letters P, T, and C, they contain no aspiration. Here are some more examples. Whisper. Leftovers. Ascot. Notice that without aspiration, these consonants sound just like their voiced counterparts, b, d, and g. Listen again. Whisper. Leftovers. Ascot. As you've just learned. Aspiration does not occur following s and f. However, at the beginnings of words, aspiration does occur. Compare these two phrases: sixteen, sixteens. As you can hear in the second example, the t consonant is aspirated. That's because it comes at the beginning of a word. Now compare these two words. Rascal. Passcode. Again, in the second example, there's an aspirated k consonant. That's because although passcode is one word, 
we perceive it like two words. Here's another example. Disturb, distaste. Again, in distaste, there is aspiration because we perceive this word like two words. Disturb, distaste. When practicing your aspirated consonants, pay attention to your mouth shape. Watch as I demonstrate P with the vowel R. Notice that I open my mouth fully during the breath. Pa. As you can see, I open my mouth quickly during the breath so that my mouth is fully open when the vowel begins. Watch again. This time I'll demonstrate the right way and the wrong way. Pa. Pa. Make sure that you do not make the vowel twice. Listen as I demonstrate. Pa. Pa ha.